again for you and myself and this is going to be a video about this KTM Duke uh, 2020 plate and we got a couple of jobs to do uh, I want to remove the petrol tank that's number one and a second video going to be about how to replace your pedal bar on your Duke uh, when upgrade to the better one so yeah well, let's go on remove the petrol tank okay then uh First thing what we're going to do to remove the petrol tank uh, We're going to remove the seats, that's number one To remove them, I don't think we're going to struggle with it Because we use the key to remove the rear seat And then second, you just pull a little bit backwards and it's just coming out And then we start to remove these plastics And I'll show you what screws have to come off And this is a little bit damaged as well And the reason to get this tank off is basically because it's a little bit dent in here So let's try to fix this up and uh, yeah remove these seats and we crack on with the fairings on the tank seats are off so next task we're going to remove these fairings i believe so have we got one two three four five six boys in here let's remove them and see if the fairing will come off easy or or maybe we've got something else to remove but start with these and then uh, we're going to see what's next inside what you need to do is pull pull this way and it's just coming out like this you see it holds basically on things like this as soon as the screws remove this easy task try to not lose the washers and the screws now we need to remove this plastic piece from here it seems like it holds also basically we got the 10 mil socket in here to basically remove from your coolant uh, tank reservoir so basically we use 10 mil in here and it should come off nice and easy so we remove this 10 mil bottom piece is already coming off basically take remove the cap is coming off this is the piece it holds actually so we're going to use the spanner to get this thing off so the size of this boy is 40 mil you can use the socket or spanner whatever is easier for you so just like this again we don't want to lose it so now we just basically try to remove this boy from here i think this slides with the clips so let's let's remove this first and then we crack on with this one because he holds in here i don't want to break the clips so this one i'm sure he just slides up hard but don't worry you're not gonna break nothing it's just like this with the holes like this you see on them sharp he wants to just slides in uh, it's a bit you need a little bit power because it sits nice and still up there so yeah so this piece is off and what we can see in here is basically another screw in here and this plastic will come off 100% just a little boy just like that and basically this side plastic is off if you like it and now we can see we got nice easy access to these screws in here and we're gonna remove another side if anyways and uh, yeah tank will be off very soon so we do completely with the other side as well I'm not gonna show you probably that on a video but basically we got one two three boys in here four five and six remove them and the same procedure and also is one in here and that piece will come off nice and easy so i got the good news as well because i got the new camera finally arrived for the videos with the proper microphone because i get a little bit complaints about my uh my uh sound on the videos and the quality will be better i use the gopro usually it's not bad to be honest but the sound because i got the main road close to my house and 
it basically distracts the noises and all this stuff don't remember subscribe to my channel uh, because you see one of the Ducatis already on my channel. I got so many bikes and so much about them. Fix them, ride them and all this stuff, reviews. This is going to be next project for myself. I did the Ducati 848 Corsa. Uh, did a good project. I did review about it. You can see this yellow uh, beast up there. But this is Ducati Monster. So it's going to be on our next video as soon as I finish with this project in here. And uh, yeah, so let's crack on and I uh, crack on with that uh, another side which I'll show you is a six seven bolts up there Just remove them and the side will come off nice and easy plastics are taken off uh, next steps is going to be easy uh, basically I see already this bracket in here it comes with a fuel tank so basically we need to remove this coolant reservoir so it's one screw in here one bolt two and three remove them we've got another one in here which is these ones are 12 mil these are 12 mil this is the 10 mil and also this side uh, seems like we got nothing actually but remember it's all the houses the filters and some electronics for fuel pump will come off as well so you're going to see all that on the video so let's remove these bolts around then then we can crack on and remove all the filters and everything else what we got under the tank so under we got this basically what we got we got this filter to come off Basically, you see the clips in here the, with the green uh, pins. So one, two, three, and four. Basically, yeah, the for fuel pump we got the electronics, the plug, and we got three houses to remove as well. So it shouldn't be too hard, but let's crack on and remove them, and uh, I think the tank will be off. Oh, they actually filter not supposed to come off, it goes completely separate. So we've got one house in here. Nicely off, nice and easy. So this one from the filter it goes on the left. Filter from filter it goes to that on the right hand side. So we've got these electronics in here. Okay then, uh, yeah, as you see it wasn't too hard job, so these two boys in here, basically you got green clips, you press it in, it just pull out, it's nice and easy to be honest, and also this lead in here, three, uh, three pieces from the tank is all job done, tank is off, if you want to see what's under, I can show you, a little bit of wiring in here, there's the E-Main ECU, a filter unit in here, you can see that under the seat, it's to be honest there's nothing 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 surprisable and yeah that's what you got under the fuel tank and also the fairings 
uh, yeah it's pretty cool it's nicely packed uh, quality is uh, de definitely so guys if you like this video subscribe to my channel and smash that like button as well uh, this is just one of the bikes I'm doing in it uh, I need to do some repairs with this tank actually also the next video I'm going to be upgrading these handlebars in here with the grips and the levels and all bar I want to get the proper nice KTM with the different uh, writing but that's the next video again another thing is as you see the new camera is here with the microphone and uh, hopefully the video is going to be a little bit more better quality and yeah thanks for watching and see you next videos